What is the best cheap sports car you can buy? You're going to hear some great options today, but for me, the best one is the Honda S2000. The handling feel, the way the car revs, the way the car looks and sounds to me, it is the perfect sports car experience. Now, if you're looking for a dedicated track car that's a little bit of a different story, you're going to hear about some other great options in today's video because I asked my friends what they thought were the best cheap sports cars on the market today. And today's video is brought to you by the Ticket Clinic. When you get a ticket, no matter where it happens, it's more important than ever to fight every one. You'll be facing fines, risks of a suspension, insurance premium increases, points on your license, even the risk of jail time. You can text a picture of your ticket to 305-305. You can call 1-800-CITATION or you can visit the Ticket Clinic at the link in the description below. So be sure to fight all your tickets with the Ticket Clinic and enjoy our thoughts on the best cheap sports car you can buy. So I think for most people, the answer has got to be the BRZ or FRS or GR86. I mean, they're uh, they're pretty cheap. The cheapest ones on Auto Tempest are under 10 grand right now. But if your budget stretches a bit higher, you can always go newer. They got enough space that you can use it as your only car. I mean, it's got decent sized back seats. Uh, but at the same time, it's a, a great handling little car. It's an excellent first track car or autocross. Um, and yeah, fun on the street as well. So that'd be my choice. Now you can't go wrong with a Mazda Miata, but let's face it, that's basic as hell. I was gonna say a Porsche 944, but a true sports car doesn't have a roof. Now, if you want something that you can work on yourself, has plenty of parts available, and has a straight six that'll sound sweet bouncing off the mountain walls as you're cruising through, you can't go wrong with a well-sorted Triumph TR6. Now the best cheap sports car that you can buy, in my opinion, is this, a 1999 Mitsubishi 3000 GT VR4. They only made 287 to bring into the States and it looks fantastic. They drive really well and they're cheap. They're, they're pretty cheap. Standing next to the most expensive car we have, I think the best cheap sports car to buy is a Ed Bullion Porsche 996. Something with a bad car pack, something that needs love, but I think it's a great sports car for around ten, twelve thousand dollars $12,000. Best cheap sports car? Well, cheap is a relative term. So let's work our way down. Cheap supercar, I drive them all the time. Corvette C8 does 91% of cars three or four times its price, does a few things better, like ride and help people live in the good life, get in and out. Best cheap sports car, period. Everybody's gonna have the same answer. It's the Miata, there is no other answer. Best sleeper cheap sports car, and I mean cheap, like me, Volvo 740 and 940 Turbo. They're one of the only cars that is still cheap. Come with a turbo, good steering, good brakes, mediocre chassis that you can have a lot of fun with, rear wheel drive, weld the diff and drift it. All right, so when it comes to best Jeep sports car, I'm going with something with four doors because everyone's already said a C5 Corvette, Miata, uh -huh. and all the other cliche uh -huh. options. So I am going with a Dodge Charger, 2009 or newer, where you're gonna get the Eagle Hemi 5.7 liter, it's four doors, you can fit all your friends, and the thing is amazing. S4V5, it's a terrible car, but it is very fun to drive on track, and you will beat everybody that's in car track. Crown Vic, self-explanatory. Crown four doors. <laughs> S550 Mustang with a diesel motor in it. Good choice. <laughs> that's right. Okay, sub $10,000 sports car, Ferrari 355 replica. Absolutely. So the Cayman 3.4S, from my personal experience, best rear mid-engined sports car, but great to take to the track and then back out on the road again. The answer is always Miata. I mean, how can you go wrong? You bust it up, there's about 400 more you can get. What's the best cheap sports car to buy? The obvious answer is a friggin' Corvette, probably a C4 or C3, because those are junky ones. C5s are the best Corvettes ever made and they're priceless and I won't sell you mine even for twice what it's worth. The best cheap sports car you can buy is undoubtedly the C4 Corvette, specifically the 92 through 96 years where it got refreshed with more power and better looks in my opinion. Let's face it, what red-blooded American hasn't wanted a Corvette and the C4 Corvette gives you that ooh-ah factor of having a Corvette without spending 60, 70, 80 thousand dollars. In fact, you can get one for about 10 thousand dollars and for that you can get a six-speed transmission, a 300 horsepower V8 and a removable top that'll make you look like a hometown hero wherever you go. 
that's the best car. I would say Mazda MX-5, as simple as that. Uh, once my best friend asked me what to buy after my Mini, I'm selling my Mini, and uh, I said, look, try a Miata, um, MX-5. She didn't know what it was, and she bought one, and uh, she loved every single second driving this car, and she's still in love with this car. So uh, Miata all the way, and uh, not uh, Fiesta WRC. Uh -huh. You have to know how to handle this. <laughs> so my favorite cheap sports car would definitely be the Evo 8 or Evo 9. I absolutely love the look of them. It's a four-door, so it's a dad mobile in a way where I can put my kids in the back and enjoy the car with them as well. But that would have to be my pick for best cheap sports car. When it comes to the best sports car, you're looking for something that's rear wheel drive, manual transmission, something that handles incredibly well, and a car that is absolutely fun to drive. And when it comes to the best cheap sports car, you just can't beat this. The Mazda Miata. It's got double wishbone suspension in the front and in the rear. It's got aftermarket support that surpasses pretty much that of any other car. And these can be had all day for under $6,000, even in today's market. This is the best cheap sports car you could buy today. Well, the answer is always Miata, right? Miata guys will tell you that. Um, I'm not a convertible guy. I don't have the hair for it. So I would say the Toyota GR86 or GT86, whatever they're calling that car nowadays. Easy answer for me on this one, it is a C5 Vet. Along with being cheap, they are reliable, they are fun, parts are everywhere, and even ones with manual transmissions are readily available. The best cheap sports car to buy is one that you can actually afford to maintain and own and drive and enjoy, which is obviously subjective, but I think actually the Mustangs and the Camaros, depending on range, offer a lot of car for the money. I personally had a Boss 302 Laguna Seca, and although the transmission did go bad, I think that was a lot of car for the money, and I really enjoyed it. It is my nature to want to pick something different and weird, but uh, that wasn't at least until this summer when my friend Vicky and I took her third generation Miata on the Cannonballs 500 rally up in the Scottish Highlands. Uh, just that little car was so much fun on those little Scottish roads. Just, uh, it was light and nimble and quick and easy and just a ride to drive on those little twisty turns and just a great little car. It's comfortable and reliable. I know a lot of people pick them, but they're not wrong. They're just great little cars. The car that I really think is up and coming and it's gonna, like, it is a sports car. Kinda, that's it's we're not talking anything exotic here, we're talking the gen trans app. How could you not love these things? Look at it. The first second you look at it, you think, Night Rider, I'm transported back to my youth. I love it, it's pointy, it's got flip up lights, lights come lights come up, price goes up, it's great. Look at it, it's a missile, it's a V8, it's super cheap to run, it's super cheap to use. They're in backyards everywhere. Everybody that had a mullet in the 80s still has their car in the backyard. They might even sell it to you if you go up there and offer them a case of beer and like a pack of cigarettes. This is how cheap they are. First generation Boxster 986, hands down, from the awesome sounding flat six to a steering feel, which is one of the best at any price point, the handling, all for around 10 grand. And it's a Porsche. If you want to spend a little bit more, just go for the S. Oh man, best cheap sports car to buy has to be hands down a Mazda Miata. There is not a better entry-level cheap sports car that's going to give you the driver feel, the road feel, and you can pick them up for next to nothing. They've been around forever, and if you can't have fun in a Mazda Miata, then what the heck are you doing? Best cheap sports car to buy, hands down, is going to be a 986 Boxster, the first generation cars. Uh, you can get them in a manual, they're a Porsche, they're a convertible, and they're mid-engine. Truly an enthusiast car. They're not fastest thing on the road, but if you have back roads or twisties around you, that's where these cars really show their true colors. You can wind that flat six out so good all day long and it'll just take it. 986 Boxster is my pick for best cheap sports car. The C5 Corvette. I'd have to say it's the 92 to 97 Volvo 850 Turbo. These cars came with a five cylinder engine. You can get them in manual. Being a turbo, you get a lot of bang for the buck on modifications. I just picked up a wagon with a built motor, big turbo, intercooler, makes over 400 horsepower at the wheels. It is a lot of fun for the money. What's the best cheap sports car to buy? The answer is Miata. Always Miata. It's the answer to everything, and it might come up later too. Me, good sports car, I love C4 Corvettes. I've owned tons of them. I've dealt with them for years. A, a nice six-speed C4 is an amazing sports car to get your hands on. But also, on top of that, back if you can still find a cheap NA Miata, I'm a huge fan of the 1.6 over the 1.8.
especially when you throw a Jackson Racing Supercharger on it and a roll bar and some sticky tires and you go out there and run some autocrosses and just go have fun. Really awesome cheap sports car to me is the 1990s BMW 3 Series E36. Um, I wouldn't get the M3, I'd go for a cheaper one, gut everything out of it, get it lightweight, drive it with a manual transmission and take it to track days, autocross, maybe even race it in spec E36 or lemons. Um, it's a total blast, has near 50-50 weight distribution, bulletproof six-cylinder engine, and it's just a joy to drive and learn how to drive better on. You have to go with the Miata. And the reason why is because the Miata allows you to experience the thrill of driving at a very low speed. The Miata, compared to others, is a car all about interaction. You, you don't have to drive the car so fast to feel that you've gotten your kicks out of it, whereas some of these other cars you have to drive so fast and just on the street, especially now with the way regulations and police are going, it's just not reasonable to do that. So Miata all the way. The MX-5, that's actually a pretty good platform. I used to own an NA MX-5 and it was great. It's fun to drive. It's got a 50-50 weight balance. It's easy to work on. It's a pretty good car. Worst case, you, you know, you get your cheap sports car, you wreck it, you can build an exoset. Or, you know, if you get some more money, you can go and get a V8 Roadster's conversion kit, drop an LS in it, and then have a Ferrari killer. Well, for me, you cannot go wrong with a Porsche 944. I absolutely adore the cars. Uh, they were built after Porsche started galvanizing all the bodies, so it's actually very hard to make them rust. Uh, most of them are still stick shift and manual transmission, and you can still buy great cars for well under $10,000. I've owned at least a half a dozen in my time, put many miles on them in freezing snowy conditions to the heat of the summer, and I've enjoyed having every single one. Regardless of what kind of cars I drive or can have or how fast they go in the future as I go through my career, I still love 944s and driving, and I guarantee I'll own another one. So there you have it. Those are our thoughts on the best cheap sports cars that you could buy today. Let us know what you think in the comments below and let us know what other kinds of questions you'd like me to ask the VinWiki survey panel. Please check out the Ticket Clinic at the link in the description below now to thank them for their support of this video and this month of content on VinWiki. Have a great day.